Hey, what's up guys? Mikas here for WeMakeDanceMusic.com. Today I'm composing a film score with uh, Xilab Poly M or Xilabs Poly M. It's a replica of uh, Moog, uh, Poly Moog. It's a uh, synthesizer has been produced uh, between 1975 and 1980s. It is a massive piece. Uh, it is a big piece that has not lived very well through time, as far as I heard. So this this replica is really faithful to the original synth. It's as big. It sounds as expensive. There's some great sound banks into it, and it's definitely a good deal because back in the days, this synth was costing like four thousand euros or four thousand dollar, four to five thousand dollar each. And they're extremely hard to maintain and you know there's not that many actually left so the particularity of this synth is like it's got some amazing brasses can have some pads it, it's just big it's just rich it's expensive it's got a huge amount of polyphony polyphony so you can really play some big chords with it which was rare back in those days because analog synthesizer synthesizer didn't have that much polyphony you have a huge amount of control you have a huge amount of knobs and things like that um, it, it's it's really really a great scent so I'm gonna get into I was looking at my note here <laughs> I'm gonna get into the, the 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 project that I'm working on right now which is called awareness it's a film score type of ambient piece 92 bpm with some layered synths and some piano a bit of a minimal percussions to create a little bit of a rhythm but it's really a film score it's quite quite emotional uh, let's get some good chords in there it's it's really I really like it, so uh, let's get into it now. Just a second. Here. Uh, okay, good, so we can see what we're doing here. All right, all right. So most of the, the channels in this, uh, in this piece is actually using the poly -M. I'm going to show it to you here. It's uh, It's been really, really well you know put together and there's even more function than there was uh, in uh, the original here but this is not really what we're after now i'm gonna put up the preset i think the presets are really nice and easy to browse by type author feelings and stuff like that this is really useful um then i'm gonna play you a little bit um, i'm gonna start by doing the elements of this track that i made with this scent and then i'm gonna play you the track so i'm gonna start at the top with the lead This is a really smooth, really, really nice harp. It, it, it's a bit this, it's a bit like the CSV80, I would say. This 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 era where they wanted to make big, big machine that sounded immense, you know, and when the technology was mature for that. So this is amazing. Then I get a NARP. This is my style, so I always use kind of this kind of layout when I do my my, my film scoring type of uh, of thingies. So this is the poly six again. Preset is a uh, funky poly, so with an arpeggiator on top, of course. I have the top brassy sound here. That one I'm gonna solo because this is really where this synth really shine. I have a filter on it, which I will turn off so you can really get the feel of how this this synth sound like. Then I'm gonna go here. Something uh, rank tune, which I have to be honest, I don't understand. I think it's the, the oscillator tune that I really like because you can keep the same tone, but just give it such juicy depth, you know, that this this, this absolutely like. So, and then you can see all of this control for, of course, the normal EDSR envelope and stuff like the, the master gains, but but there's also much deeper. FM amount here, you have uh, the contour, you have some filters that are super, super expensive, you have very different types of, um, of uh, oscillators, it's, it's a beast, it's really, really a beast, and those resonators, which I didn't even get to, I will have to explore a bit further to show you guys into another video, but what a scent and what a nice sounding scent, wow, so let's keep on going. And then I have another brass in here. Which is really a typical brassy that that is like slowly opening the envelope of the filter really love this again 
with this one I dropped the rank tune because I want that richness you know so it's quite important what I've done also well I took this original sound it from the brass ensemble and I, I like a bit more of a, like a like a thicker sound so I took the the first the lower octaves and it was originally about something like that and I really boosted it to has that that full richness and can also go at the top here bring it up it's it's just has the possibility to go oh, to make that rich big sound then you have of course those brass that we had earlier I'm gonna put everything on so this is only the poly 6 uh, poly M sorry and then I get some pianos which I won't put I get a bass pad it's just some low end push some air a little bit and I have that uh, bass rhythm here that's just some bass hits and that's it for for the the poly M into this track I mean you can hear the quality this is not mastered there's no compression nothing and then I'm gonna play you what I've done with it because it was inspired by it I just started this track you know with, with the brasses did a few key changes and stuff created a progression then I put some stuff on top and this is what it sounds like now. I think my lower is a little bit too. Put an accent kick every four bars to accentuate the piano and the hits there I did some automations on the brass here and then since I'm here I'm sitting with you guys I'm gonna work on it a little bit tell you what what are the ideas uh, so I have two pianos so I have this piano here and then I have a main really big chord stab piano I have some kick underneath you're gonna hear it so it, it it just pushes the piano forward some percussions some timpani and then the full kit then the bass pad to really fill in that 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 section a bit more rhythm and the lead which is Amazing. Then I bring in the harp. Still have a little bit of space in the mix here, so I can still work on it. And then the brass, and then the main brass. So I'm wondering how should I start this track now? Really, it's it's great. I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna make an amazing template out of it for you guys, so you can actually get the PolyM demo for free. That you can use. I think it's 15 days. It's a bit complicated with the iLock thing, but I guess you know people want to protect their work. They don't want everybody to pirate the synth. So I'm gonna do a version with the audio another version with uh, with the synth so you can enjoy both either or or put your own synths in there if you like uh, so I, I don't know where how do I, do I start this one I think I might start with the, the lead here I think I would like something like that something like at the light at the top no arp nothing and uh, the brassy I, I would actually probably put the brassy with a really really a low pass filter so I'm gonna leave a little bit of the low end of it the mega brass I'm gonna keep it for a bit later to, to add some, some impact this piano not really this key piano possible the kicks and stuff no because oh maybe this this remind me uh, of this core uh, Hans Zimmer time I did a remake of this core and it came out like so amazing so I use some of the techniques that I use in this one here so let's just see isn't there supposed to be a filter on there oh i guess it's offline okay
This sounds amazing, I love it already. I think I will uh, replicate that and I will add a layer to... I'm gonna add a layer here. I'm gonna turn it into some strings. I want some strings. Uh, I want a string section. Actually, no, not now in Logic, they have a string thing that they, they, they put up not so long ago. And in the, one of the last update, uh, Studio Strings. Yeehaw! How nice. Thanks, guys. I think I'm gonna need to cut my filter if I wanna hear the strings. Let's see what we got. This one, I'm gonna add another string section, yet another one, because you know, strings are good when there's many. Because if you go see an orchestra, there's not uh, you know, five people playing violin, there's you know, 50, so well, 50, whatever. So, I'm, I'm just gonna put it uh, one tone higher just to have a different scale in here, and I'm gonna change them to be. actually in the other so you always do that so I didn't know that was controlling the other one but uh, all good that sounds pretty good so I wanted this one here and then I wanted to crescendo slow I wanted to rise and then maybe try I think it take a little bit of time for Logic to load to load this. I'll try it again. I wanted a small section. Oh, well. Ah, good game. Yep, there's a nice little crescendo there. Clashing a little bit with my lead there so anyway guys thank you very much for watching this one i'm gonna keep on working on this put it as a template on wemakedancemusic.com i hope you enjoy this little intro to uh, xil labs polyam i think it's an amazing scent i think you should check it out and uh, until next time uh, may the sounds be with you